Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul, and in this Rick Games Intercom video, we're going to be discussing and analysing tech news, which, as usual, has popped up over the past 24 or so hours. You might notice a slight change in the set right now. I'm going to be doing a PC bill over the next couple of days, so we've already done all the photography, so we're going to be starting that. And also today is going to be the uploading of an X470 motherboard review, and hopefully tomorrow we'll also have a B350 versus X470 performance analysis as well. So do feel free to go ahead and check those out. We're going to be starting things out with the specifications, performance, and pricing of the 2500X and the 2300X, which has leaked onto the internet, as of course things tend to do. We'll start things out with the 2500X. It has a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz and turbos up to 4 gigahertz. It does have 16 megabytes of level 3 cache, but unfortunately it's being misreported here as just 8 megabytes. But from what we know about the 1500X and just how the Zen architecture works, we do in fact know that it de definitely does have 16 megabytes of level 3 cache. It is, however, still a 65 watt part, just like its predecessor. But of course, because it's built on the 12 and in process, it will in fact support higher clock speeds most likely when turboing or if you choose to overclock it. So it's four cores and eight threads are capable of putting out an awful lot of performance. In terms of single core performance with Geekbench, it manages 4,782 points or 17,291. To put that into some level of context here, you're looking at roughly the same performance as Intel's Kaby Lake i7-7700 series. That's awfully impressive considering that the retail price point is being reported to be around the 150 to 160 US dollar mark. So for those who are looking to put together a cheaper gaming system, this processor may well be a perfect choice for you. The Ryzen 3 2300X is only a quad core part. It does not have SMT. The base clock is 3.5 gigahertz. The boost clock is, of course, 4 gigahertz. But once again, because of improvements on XFR and the 12 nm process, it may well overclock fairly well here but it does only have eight megabytes of level three cache. So that is a key difference between it and the 2500X, along with, of course, the fact that it doesn't have SMT. Its performance is roughly on par with the 7600K, scoring 4734 in the single thread and multi-thread just a tiny bit under 14,000, 13,999 to be precise. And the price point is being reported around 120 to 140 US dollars. Now, this is my own opinion on this, but personally, I would rather plonk down the extra cash and buy the 2500 because I feel that it's going to last you longer after all those four additional threads. Yes, they're not as powerful, of course, as four real cores, but still, it's nice to have them and the additional cash is not going to hurt any either. Retail availability for these processors is said to be soon, so if you are looking to put together a new system, this may well be the processor for you, or the processor is for you, and of course, you can also go ahead and pair them with a reasonable motherboard. Uh, once again, we're reviewing the X470 motherboard today, so you can go ahead and check that out because it's a nice uh, kind of mid-range board at around 130 US dollars, so it could actually be a perfect companion for one of these CPUs. Sources at Engadget are reporting that Microsoft's next HoloLens will launch in the first quarter of next year and will be based on Qualcomm's XR1 platform. The XR1 platform is specifically designed around augmented reality and does in fact feature artificial intelligence for improved technology in these areas, which should offer lower power consumption, better interactivity and optimizations. These reports actually do match up very closely with what the website forret.com had also reported. It claims that it managed to get hold of privileged documentation, which not only reported the HoloLens uh, being launched next year, but of course various other things, including the uh, Scarlet family, which is the next generation of Xbox devices. Now, according to reports, Microsoft are making augmented reality and mixed reality to be a very, very, very high priority. And one of the reasons behind this is, of course, that they fail to really gain much traction in the smartphone market. So for them to actually push this for augmented devices, then it makes an awful lot of sense. From what we're hearing, we should hear announcements in January 2019 about this. And then once again, the launch should be some point in the first quarter of 2019. But of course, anything can happen. It could possibly slip maybe three months or something. MIPS had been looking for someone to purchase them. About a year ago, of course, Imagination Technologies lost the deal with Apple to provide their devices with GPUs. And finally, they have found someone to purchase them. And the company who have done so are the Wave Company. And they are 
of researching artificial intelligence and the company who have done so are the Wave Company and they have stated that they intend to use MIPS technology to expand their machine learning product for portfolio. Uh, for example, branching out from the data center machine learning training to machine learning inference into edge devices, which of course would be perfect fit for MIPS's current devices. As for MIPS itself, it will continue to operate as a division of Wave Computing and Wave Computing will continue to license out MIPS technology to whomever uh, wants to purchase it. The one downside to all of this is most likely we will not see MIPS CPUs in high performance devices, which some had speculated may be the case, but it just doesn't appear to be um, going to happen anytime soon. With all of that said, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. No more stuff, like, share, comment and subscribe. And thanks to everyone who has been watching recently. It's much appreciated. But with that said, have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.